everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stock Swoosh and I wanted to do a market review. It's Monday, June 28th. We are getting into last two more days left in June and then July starts. Hard to believe half the year is over. It's really hard to believe. Half of 2021 is over. That's, that's just crazy to me. July, August, September, October, November, December, six more months till Christmas. So, I mean, it is time to get busy, to get organized, to get your goals set. If you are not having a good start to the year, it's halfway through the year, you better get organized, you better get situated, you better get a plan of action together. And one of the things that I do extremely well is I get up in the morning and I rate the gaps that I do in the pre-market. That's how I make the picks on options trades, on day trades, all of the above. This was a nice day trade today. The QQQs gapped up. I don't even know why they gapped up, to be honest with you. I didn't even look at it and I didn't even care. We closed right on Friday. I knew that was basically buff kiss, nothing whatsoever at all. So many people have been saying, I'm just gonna blow this up here, that here, that the market's extended. And everyone, all these day traders are like, these retail traders, it's we're getting, you know, extended, extended, extended. We're due for a sell-off, we're due for a pullback. I don't see it that way. To me, one, we're not extended. Number two, today was a breakout, okay? We're not extended, today was a breakout. I mean, this is like, I'm not saying that we'd ever sell off. I'm not saying that at, at all. But so many of the people think that this market is eminent to fall or crash, and I don't see that setting up. I just don't see it. And if it happens, I'll know. I'll know when it does, but it's not happening right now. So in the moment when you're trading, if you're an active trader, you have to go with the money when the money tells you where to go it. And so here we are, the stock closed here or the market closed here on Friday night at 349.46, boom. Open in the morning today, boom, 350.78. So we almost made a new high in the open, but we did it pretty quickly. So actually, let's just see when we did it. 351.46, 351.46, oops. I just wanna see exactly when we did this today. Oh, we actually did it immediately. Wow, look at that. So, you know, we, we ended up going long in here, got the run up, you could have got out in here. If you held it, got the second run up, even got a third run up into lunchtime period, which is beautiful. I said 353 was the number I was looking for. It not only got there, it went over it. It never got anywhere, anywhere near the stop, which we had, you know, down low. But I mean, just looking at this here, Let's look how strong this market is. So Apple had a run up today, which lifted the Qs, okay, because this is such a big percentage of the Qs. Other than that, I didn't really look up the reason the market was up today. I didn't care. I didn't care, but I wouldn't have done anything differently either way. But a lot of the reason, the other reasons that people think the market is actually going to fall and crash and people are bearish on the market is the fact that the fundamentals and the economics aren't matching up really with how the market's rallying and making new highs every week. I get that, but the way that I make decisions is based on technical analysis. It's based on technical analysis and the gap. If you would look at the fundamentals and make trading decisions, you're getting killed right now. In fact, you're getting killed all of last year. Uh, where did this go? Got to 135, went over it slightly. So we're just pittering off here a little bit tonight, right off the highs where we rallied up. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful bullish move in the market here today. We'll see what we get tomorrow. We'll see where we get tomorrow, but nice day trade in here. Good, solid move up. Had a good entry at a good price point. Got the run up. Got what I needed. Got what we were looking for today. There was a very light day. This is going to be a very light week, but there are some things this week and next week that are going to be doable to trade as far as options are concerned. And I'm very picky with the day trades because of the fact that I want to make sure that we get the move in the day because you have to get in and out of the day trades on the day. The options you can hold. You can give a little bit of a cushion in time. So we'll see what we get with the market this week. And, and again, great call here today by me. Play of the day was QQQ's long, bullish gap up, new highs of the market. Look at the technicals, and if you don't know how to do that, then you gotta take my Golden Gap course. I teach you how to do that in the Golden Gap course. Next class is until the end of July. July, in fact, I'll tell you the dates. My assistant has it here on the website because I don't even know them off the top of my head. The next class, if you wanna learn my system and method, it's not until July 24th and 25th, so it's a month away. 
Email me at melissa at stockswoosh.com if you want to sign up. Cost of the class is $69.99. That's seven grand for the two-day class. It's well worth it. And we had a good day. Have a great night, everyone.